I, I, I'm here to share my American dream, and I want everyone to know that our dream is still alive. The American dream is still alive, and I'm going to tell you a little bit of my story. I came here to the United States when I was 11 years old. My mom worked so hard to support all my siblings. When I was 22 years old, I got shot by the father of my kid. Mm. I survived horrible domestic violence. But after I got shot, after a month of getting better, I had two choices to make. One was to survive out of government welfare, survive out of government welfare or get a job. I chose to uh, get a job as a janitor. Because for so much long, I, for the first time, I felt freedom. I felt that I needed to be free, and I didn't want to be dependent on the government. So I started making $5 an hour in 1997, and I love my job so much that I worked my way up to become a supervisor manager, and then five years later, mm -hmm. I end up buying my own uh, my company, my own janitorial company. <laughs> And for me, that is looking at the American dream. A high school dropout, they didn't finish high school. I mean, what else can I do but to clean very well and move up the ladder? That is the real That's American cool. dream. Thank you very much. That's what happens here. That's good. So, Thank you very much. So from going to work eight hours a day, we end up working 16 hours a day for the next five years to pay off the big loans. Okay. Then my fiance, Ron Pigner, now my husband is here, help, but I mean, put together. So after, after uh, five years in 2005, we paid all off. Then after that, I started feeling that I was getting more free and more free. And I'm, I'm a giver. I like to help. If God takes care of me, I take care of others. So what I do, <laughs> thank you. So I, at that time in 2005, I had already 60 employees working for me. And one of the things that I love and do for them is help them learn English, help them buy their first car, help them get their first home. But most of the things that I enjoy the most is teaching them English and make them become U.S. citizens. And over the course, <laughs> Over the course of, I would say, maybe 15 years, probably my husband and I helped more than 30 people become U.S. citizens. Right. And I'm so proud of that. It's incredible. Yeah. Then my American dream was keep coming. I became a U.S. citizen in 2008. Mm -hmm. Then my American, I kept living my American dream, and then 2012 came. That's when Obamacare came, and I, and they, I keep hearing in the news if you have more than 50 employees, you have to cut back, or you have to do something. And I, and I told my husband, what's going on? Why am I have to lay off people? And that's when I started getting involved more into what's going on? Why is the government telling me what to do? I worked so hard for what I have. Why they have to get in my business? Why do I have to let people go? <laughs> start getting involved into local politics and see what they were doing, why, so they can hear my American dream and see, I'm still here, I'm still alive, I want to keep moving up. I don't like to sit and, and listen. I'm the one that wants to get active and, and do something about it, there's a problem. So that's what I did, and look where it got me. Now I'm here next to the president, yeah. getting involved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Para Great. mi gente linda, por favor, let's protect our country. Let's protect our American dream. We're all, we're all Americans. It doesn't matter where you come from. This is our safe heaven. Please, let's put President Trump again for the next four years. We need to save it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much.